So I thought some of you might enjoy seeing the isopod slash galactic arc live rig for 2017. Peppers! What's up? I'm using three Moogs, Fatties, and a Minotaur, which is okay, but I have to set up the patches on a computer before taking it out, because I don't use a computer out live. I instead trigger from this MPC-1000, which works pretty good, although sometimes it seems to not remember my work when I load it again. It's probably just operator error. Here's the back power strip. More about the MPC. With JJOS, you can set these Q faders to control things like mod wheel, which is perfect for these fatties because one strange thing about them is that you can't set the modulation amount on a slim fatty because it, it assumes that you've got a mod wheel attached to it. So that can be programmed via a CC message in the MPC and you can furthermore modulate that live with these faders. So that's something I'm looking forward to implementing very soon. The MPC has two MIDI outs. So I've got one that goes to all the synthesizers and then another that goes to the, the MIDI mixing in the back, which is this Akai matrix. Uh, every, every parameter in this matrix has CC control and uh, this virtualizer also has select parameters controllable by CC. It works pretty elegantly and simply. I just uh, have a DI stuffed in here and I can run a line out to that and I have another mixer that will combine the signals of this rack and the instruments that I'm playing and uh, my microphone. So It's a little bit heavy. I'd like to make the rack a little bit thinner. Uh, I can probably get away with 10 inches if I put it, everything in a 16 space rack and then I wouldn't have to load the rear of the rack with other things and then I'd have front access. But uh, this, this works for now. Headers. Yay! So there you have it, Isopod Live Rig for 2017. I'm just trying to make the performances more interesting. Last year we used backing tracks on a nice media player, uh, but this time we wanted to make things a little bit more live. And of course, we can't take those awesome big old poly synths out. They get beat up and lose parts and they need a lot of work. Just trying to keep things practical and fun and interesting for everyone. Oh, my God.